are you this evening? We are pretty good. Um, it is about 7 p.m. Central Time, and we are in Livingston, Alabama, at the D&J Truck Stop. It's a nice big lot, nice nice place. They got a shop, lots of fuel islands, though we wouldn't fuel here. Um, interestingly enough, they have an Indian restaurant inside the truck stop. Too bad I don't have a little bit of extra cash. I'd go inside and get me a curry. I could really use one right now. Um, we got up at 4.30 this morning, took off at 5.00. And uh, day was not too bad. It could have been better. Uh, Y'all saw the video of us driving. Um, we swapped back and forth as the day went on. At load checks, we uh, stopped in uh, Greenwood, Louisiana, and uh, Flying J, and took a shower. And we both desperately needed that. And then uh, we uh, ran into uh, uh, some really, really bad traffic in Monroe. There was an accident on the river bridge and traffic was backed up at a standstill for over an hour. And that put us behind, uh, but that was all right. It wasn't too bad. Um, but uh, then we stopped in Pearl, Mississippi to get the trailer worked on at the yard there. Uh, one of the mud flaps was missing and it took an hour and a half to replace a mud flap. We were there five minutes and they pulled the trailer in and then it took them an hour and a half to put the mud flap on. That really, really screwed us up as far as time-wise go. It killed uh, about an hour of our driving time. It shouldn't take it more than 15 minutes to put that mud flap on. But apparently a five minute job just wasn't a priority, um, especially on a just-in-time load got me um so we left there and hauled butt um and uh we were trying to shoot for uh, uh tuscaloosa alabama at the flying j uh, which is about another 60 miles up the road and uh we could have made it barely but we had to stop in meridian mississippi to buy fuel and that took 45 minutes the fuel lines were so long they were stacked three deep in the fuel lanes and the road leading into the pilot was standstill just trucks waiting to get in it was ridiculous um i have never seen it that bad at any truck stop and they had like 10 lanes i don't know what it was it's not like it's the last pilot for 150 miles uh so once we finally got fuel and got out of there we headed here it took about another 40 minutes to get here and uh, this is as far as we got. I only got about a half hour left on the 14, and uh, there's nothing between here and Tuscaloosa to be able to stop at that I know about and guarantee a parking spot. Here, this place is never, never full. I don't know what it is, but this has got a huge lot, and it's, there's hardly anybody here. Maybe 20 trucks. And they get about 150 in here, so that's it. Uh, we're going to get up at, uh, do it all over again, get up at 4.30, get out of here by 4.45, if at all possible to this when our <laughs> clock is up and we've got to be in Rincon Georgia by 4 p.m. Eastern time 3 p.m. Central if we don't dilly dally around or don't have any really major problems like we did today we will make it if we don't I don't know what we're gonna do maybe we'll have to reschedule for Thursday morning God I hope not um, as it is once we unload we're gonna be done for the day we're not gonna have any hours to do anything so that will be that. So until we talk tomorrow, keep the shiny side up, 73s. Good night.